So we're doing a beginner series and I thought I'd pause for just two minutes to do five things that I think will make your life as a beginner and home assistant easier. So let's go. One, home assistant is on a two week upgrade cycle, meaning the developers who are awesome, um, actually release a new version about every two weeks and they're pretty good about it. So you should get good about upgrading your home assistant environment. And to do that, it's pretty easy. First, you wanna actually upgrade your Raspberry Pi or your Raspbian installation and then upgrade a home assistant. So we're gonna do that. So to upgrade Raspbian, sudo apt get update. And again, that updates all of the definition files. It doesn't actually update your Pi, but it goes through your packages and everything and makes sure that we all know where it's supposed to be or Raspbian knows where it's supposed to be. Once that's done, go ahead and upgrade. So sudo apt get, oops, spell that right, sudo apt get uh, upgrade, and then dash y. And the y will just answer yes for you if the prompt pumps up for do you really wanna do this? So, and then let that run. It can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to an hour. So depending on how long it's been since you've upgraded and how many, changes have happened to the OS since then. Once that's done, it's pretty easy. Then you just go ahead and upgrade Home Assistant. And to do that, it's sudo pip3, because remember, this is a Python program, install dash dash upgrade, and then Home Assistant. And you let that run. And again, that can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to a long time, depending on how long it's been for you and um, what the changes have been. So usually not too, too long. Once that's done, just reboot your system. Technically, you don't have to do it. I do it twice because I've seen it have problems with just one. So um, to do that, just sudo reboot and you're good to go. Two. So you upgraded and something doesn't work. Well, it's a two week upgrade cycle and every once in a while there's a bug. Actually, surprisingly pretty few and far between for the amount of work they do. So that's a good thing, but sometimes you gotta go back. So tip number two, install a previous version. And here's how you do it. Just go to sudo uh, pip3 install home assistant and then equals equals and then the version number that you want so it might be 41.1 just like that i'm not going to do it i don't want to go backwards right now but that's the command you hit that you wait a couple of minutes and you're back to a previous version and usually it's just the version before the one that you just installed um so yeah there you go that's two three so tip number three, check your configuration. Here's the thing, we all make typos, we all make mistakes. So you're in here, you uh, make a change to your YAML file and you want to check and make sure it's okay. So go ahead, save your configuration.yml, go to the command line and it's pretty easy from there. Just type HASS dash dash script. And by the way, this script thing has a lot of different options. I'm just showing you this one. We'll cover another one in a minute maybe check underscore config all's well it'll come back all green and, and good and glorious if not it'll come back sort of with red and maybe tell you what you did wrong so there you go and we did everything right four tip number four is use the available support out there in the community there's tons of it i'm going to take you through a couple first shameless plug diy automate dot io dot me huh diy automate dot me that's my site plenty of help there or it's getting there uh the home assistant site home home dash assistant dot io the links are down below and in my blog post um the gitter chat is amazing i've never after going to the forums which is on home assistant dot io you go in here you ask a question i've almost never come up to something they couldn't answer somebody couldn't answer might take a couple times to get the right person there, but it works. Uh, Brew Automation, his videos, uh, Ben from Brew Automation makes great videos on YouTube. The site's here, 
check it out. Uh, don't keep banging your head against the wall. If you have a problem, chances are somebody else has had the problem. And um, once you've tried to help yourself once or twice or thrice, start checking out the support. There you go. Five. So tip number five is keep your secrets secret, right? So say you go, you are having issues and you go to the Gitter chat page and you say, hey, I am having this issue. Can you please help? And somebody says, sure. One of the things they may ask you to do is send you send them your configuration.yaml file, right? As you get more advanced, you may want to just share your configuration.files to show people what you did. But at the beginning, from a support point of view, that makes a lot of sense. And here's the thing. You could have a lot of sensitive information in your configuration.yaml file. API keys to things like Weather Underground, which we did in a different video. Um, your password, right? So if you publish Home Assistant to the web, you don't want your password going out. And it's not that big of a deal to go through your, your configuration.yaml and delete all that stuff out, but you could miss something and it's just a pain, especially if you're doing it over and over. So there's an easy solution and it's called the secrets file. Really easy. Create a file called secrets in your home, your home assistant directory. Um, so you can do that through, you know, SSH or through notepad++ like I am. Call it secrets.yaml. And then we will go into secrets.yaml and we will create secrets. And the way to do this is really easy. So we're going to create a password for Home Assistant. So type in a nickname that you want to use for the secret. Um, this is how you're going to reference the secret later. So I'm going to do ha underscore password. ha underscore password. Um, colon, space, and then whatever your password is. Password one, two, three, four. Real original, but that's what we're going to use. Um, so that, that's easy, right? Save that file, go back to your configuration.yaml, and then we're going to actually use that password here. And the API password is the actual password that you would pass in for Home Assistant. I know we didn't cover that, but it's, it's fairly easy. And it's easy, bang or exclamation point secret, and then space, and then the name that we used in the secrets file, right? So ha underscore password right there. Um, ha underscore password, ha underscore password. And then we'll go ahead and we'll save it. And as I like to do, we will go and we will check the configuration, make sure we come back all green. Um, that always takes a second, but worth it. Do, 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 do. Okay, so it came back green, we're good. We can restart and you can do this again through the command line or you can do it through the web interface. Restart your service, that'll take a minute. Um, that's been kicked off. And then as we come back to Home Assistant, oops, it's taking itself a second. There we go. Um, and then we just type in our password, one, two, three, four. And it logs us in. Easy enough. So that's an easy way. You can use as many secrets in that file as you want. You can put a thousand of them in there. It'll take it a little bit while longer for your research, the more you get there. But until you get up to 500 or 1,000 or something, it, it won't affect you. Um, it's also a great way to organize things, right? So you keep things in there, sort of organized. Um, you know, all your passwords and everything are in one place. So if you need to change them, you don't have to go hunting through a big, long file for it. So there you go. That was five. So I hope you liked one, two, three, four, or five tips. I won't call them top tips because everybody has different needs. They're tips that I think every sort of beginner should get used to using. Um, and uh, if you have some favorites, send them to me. Maybe they'll make a different video or put them in the comments down below, all of that stuff. All right, um, more stuff to do, subscribe, Tell your friends, tell your mother to come check us out um, and keep automating and I will talk to you soon. Bye.